Hello everyone. Uh, myself, Professor Hardik Patel. Today, in this video, I am going to discuss experiment number nine, that is emitter follower as a buffer. So, as you know, emitter follower, which is also known as common collector configuration. So, this common collector configuration is normally used between two stages of multi stage amplifier or between the output of a voltage amplifier and the load. Its main role is to increase the driving capacity of the output signal due to low output impedance and reduce the loading effect with high input impedance. You know in common collector or a grounded collector configuration its current gain is larger while its voltage gain is approximately unity. So what I am going to do in this one is as per circuit diagram I will implement the circuit in multi sim tool and I we will check the voltage gain voltage gain means output voltage upon input voltage as it is a common collector input is given at base terminal and output is observed at emitter terminal as you can see in circuit diagram. So what I will do is I will vary the input signal and check the output voltage then for different sets of inputs we will measure outputs and we will measure gain right so that would be one table then another table we are going to draw is what is the effect of variation in voltage VCC means driving voltage VCC or supply voltage VCC on output voltage so in that case we will keep V in fixed we will vary VCC and we will check effect of variation in VCC on output voltage and hence on gain right so this circuit I am going to implement in multi sim tool so let's see so here I have implemented common collector configuration as you can see so R1 10k R2 10 10k collector is shorted it is directly connected to VCC here it is RE here coupling cap uh, coupling capacitor C1 here again coupling capacitor C2 here it is load resistance 2.2k now let's see here in function generator right we can set input signal of 1 kilohertz sine wave amplitude 20 millivolt peak right here it is out for output measurement here it is oscilloscope this oscilloscope i have selected from this um, um, measurement tools right let me add one more thing that is measurement probe right measurement probe i am adding here at output terminal to measure peak to peak output voltage and frequency so you can see what i am doing is i am setting parameters output parameters to measure the things so here i have selected voltage peak to peak and frequency right if your requirement is more you can select different parameters also so i have selected v peak to peak and frequency a shape of voltage you can observe in this waveform so let's see if i press run button i have set c i have set vcc is equal to 10 volts now when we press on run button you can observe voltage peak to peak right output voltage peak to peak 39.5 millivolt here we have set 20 millivolt peak means 40 millivolt peak to peak right now let us stop this let us uh, set the appropriate voltable division so here this blue waveform indicates input while this uh, red waveform indicates output so if i am setting same volt per division in channel a and channel b as you can see 10 millivolt per division here in channel b 10 millivolt per division right so you can see these two waveforms are overlapping means whatever is the input same is the output right but to distinguish input from output let me change the volt per division of output signal which is indicated by red red one right so what is it fixed 
pick to pick amplitude and all that we can set by putting this cursor as you can see right so here this cursor number 2 cursor number 2 is on input waveform right means it is T2 so T2 is for channel A input it is 19.99 means it is 20 millivolt peak it indicates 20 millivolt peak and same time on channel B it indicates 19.59 something right means output is on channel B input is on channel A so output is slightly less than input so means here if you measure the voltage gain output upon input right so it is uh, slightly less than unity and so this way in this one you can observe uh, what is the output peak to peak output so here 20 millivolt peak here v uh, output voltage is peak to peak 39.5 so input 40 millivolt peak to peak output 39.5 millivolt peak to peak so output is less than input you can on see right <coughs> so now what we will do is uh, in uh, mppt i will show you I have actually changed the different values of input voltage and I have measured this output voltage peak to peak. So you have to prepare one table according to uh, uh, your lab manual, right? So I am not going to vary all these values in runtime. I have already taken these values and that I will show you. So see in this <coughs> slide. It indicates variation in gain with respect to input signal. So input signal 20 millivolt peak. This is out corresponding output fixed 10 volt. Here it is common collector. Input is represented by uh, blue waveform. Output is represented by uh, a red waveform. Right. So now let's change the input and check. So input I have now changed. 200 millivolt peak means 400 millivolt peak to peak so corresponding output you can observe and in in waveform you can see that there is a zero degree phase shift between input and output right between base and uh, emitter there is a zero degree phase shift that also you can notice right so this is the second the third right here 2 volt peak means 4 volt peak to peak so what is the output you can observe here right so in form of table here it is 40 millivolt peak 400 millivolt uh, peak to peak 4 volt peak to peak so corresponding outputs i have mentioned and i have calculated practical gain so theoretical gain now you have to think whether it will change or not right so it is up to you to calculate theoretical value of gain whether it is depending on input signal or not right so this way the first job is done now in second part what we will do is actually in same circuit we'll keep input fixed and we'll vary the VCC. We will keep input fixed and we'll vary the VCC. So let's see in next slide. So here I am setting uh, input sine wave 1 kilohertz frequency 0.5 volt peak means 1 volt peak 2 peak right. I am changing the value of VCC 8 volt. I have set 8 volt see the output right shape of input and output got it so this is the case for vcc is equal to 8 volt similarly for vcc is equal to 10 volt again yes same input as we have considered in previous case so here it is corresponding output then vcc is equal to actually uh, so you can see here class case for VCC is equal to 12 volt right here it is output so in form of table VCC 8 volt 10 volt 12 volt corresponding outputs and corresponding gain now it is uh, your job to calculate theoretical value of gain for different value of VCC and accordingly you have to conclude this experiment. Thank you.